welcome to explore embedded this is a video after a long time and this is a random video i would be uh, following along and making it a complete series uh, sometime later but uh, this is a brief video just to help out someone uh, understand and run a few r toss examples so uh, in this video i'll briefly uh, explain how to create and use a task and before i go ahead and explain uh, you know how to do or how to create a task and use it let me just explain what a task is and you know uh, what it is so a task is anything uh, which you could uh, think of as an individual component in a system which is running it could relate to a physical device like a sensor or it could relate to a individual process that that is going on so usually you create a task whenever you want something separate separate something stand alone to run it is equivalent to your uh, main program that you have in the code so in a, in a program if you want to have multiple main programs you know which run independently of each other and you know each of those are scheduled by something called a scheduler in our task so uh, these are what your tasks are now these tasks can go in different states so Uh, so you know before i go ahead and explain you what what that is uh, what all that is uh, let me just show you a diagram or a picture rather so uh, we will be using free r toss in this example and there are four uh, four uh, states that the task can go in so the first is what you see here this is uh, the ready state uh, ready state as you could see here Uh, you know uh, they are ready to run so uh, this is the first state and the second state as you could guess is the running state now running is you know there is no need to explain you can see the picture it's just running uh, it means it is actually executing uh, on the processor it means that particular code is running right now on the processor now the the task could also be you know blocked uh, it could be made to wait for a certain resource uh, let's say you know there is a slow device and it wants to uh, you know it takes time to respond so uh, for that particular time it could be put on hold or it could be blocked so uh, the third picture here and you know a task could totally be suspended it could be out of the game uh, you know a block is something like a player waiting in the stand and you could the coach could call him in whenever he wants but the suspended player you know it never he never returns back unless he specifically asked to come back in the game so uh, the difference between a uh, blocked and suspend we'll just go to that uh, in a little while but these are four basic states so this is ready running uh, blocked and suspended and now let me just go ahead and show you the transition between all of this so whenever you know scheduler puts something in in the running state it just you know runs that particular code is running now there could be various other codes or various other main programs to be you know uh, very simple about it so uh, all those could be in a ready state so the controller i mean the art also would pick any of the uh, or the scheduler rather will pick Uh, any of those depending on which has the highest priority so uh, it could so all the states or all the process that are in uh, in ready state they could go to running uh, state now all the tasks you know uh, so you can specifically suspend a task and uh, that we do using you know the v task suspend and v task Uh, i mean to suspend a task basically we use uh, we task suspend and to, to get it back from suspended position uh, we use uh, we task resume now you could the difference that we have between blocked and suspended is uh, it is blocked for a certain reason it is uh, waiting for a event to hop, happen or you know the delay to uh, lapse but it is not the case with the suspended state so you specifically called a function called we task suspend and made this task which was uh, you know ready or it could be blocked or it could be running and you put it 
into the suspended state so it could transit from either blocked ready or running to suspend uh, and spend and to do that we specifically call a function called vtask suspend similarly to get the task out of the suspended uh, state we use the vtask resume now uh, let me just speak a little more about the block state the block state uh, as i said earlier it could be blocked uh, you know for an uh, external event to happen or it could be blocked uh, in between delays that you have so as i said earlier if you have a device which is slower and you know uh, let's say uh, a sensor uh, for instance uh, which will respond every one second and uh, you know instead of the whole program waiting for one second we could call a function called v task delay and you know that is for say one second uh, and the process still runs on i mean this uh, this task which is waiting for the sensor to give output is put in the block state and all other uh, you know the normal function of the uh, processor is going on it might be calculating something or you know it could be displaying something so all of that so that is the block state for you now in a short while i'll go, go ahead and show you how to create basic tasks and you know uh, how to start the scheduler so that it can put all this task in into working